benefits benefits and more benefits what's up 23 percent nation it's your man coach d and guys today i'm gonna get a little personal that's right i want to welcome everybody to i got into a fight on forgiveness day part 10. now i'm very happy and also a little sad to say that this is the final episode of this amazing video series now 23 percent nation i know that you guys have been eagerly awaiting for this final video and the reason why i know that is because a lot of you have been asking all right coach d for the past nine videos, you've been talking about forgiveness this, forgiveness that, right? <laughs> but what about you, Coach D? What have you done? We want to know more about Coach D and how forgiveness has impacted his life. So guys, with this video part 10, I'm going to let you know just how practicing forgiveness has impacted my life. So get ready because here we go. I got into a fight on Forgiveness Day Part 10. That's right, guys. Coach D is about to get personal. All right. So when it comes to Forgiveness Day, which, by the way, is the fifth day of the 23% challenge, you always have three options. You can forgive, you can ask for forgiveness, or you can practice self-forgiveness. That's right. So as far as me forgiving others, well, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to tell you that within the past, I would say two to three years since I've been doing a 23% challenge, it has allowed me to forgive two very important individuals. The first person that I would like to introduce you to is David. Now, there was an incident with David that left me physically impaired. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that I decided to forgive David for actually crushing my fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae. Well, fortunately, I wasn't paralyzed, but there was an incident in which I was severely injured. Believe it or not, I forgave him. The second person that I chose to forgive is, believe it or not, one of my best friends. His name is Martin. Uh, he needed a favor. He needed to borrow my car. And while he was borrowing my car, it was vandalized by none other than him himself. <laughs> OK, so I decided to forgive him for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people who are listening to this will probably say, well, no, I could never do that. I could never forgive someone who vandalized my car and I could never, ever forgive anyone who caused me bodily harm and or injury. Well, guys, you know me, Coach D. I'm a little different from everybody else. Believe it or not, I decided to forgive them and I have reaped the benefits, which I'll explain to you in a little while. All right. Next up. Who did you ask forgiveness from? That's right, guys, because believe it or not, Coach D is no saint. I have done my fair share of dastardly deeds, <laughs> okay? So I had to ask for forgiveness from a few people. Number one was another one of my best friends. His name is Travis Bolden, okay? That whole incident that had to deal with David I, in my mind, because I was very upset, I was very pissed off, I was extremely angry at being injured, I thought that Travis and his boyfriend, about to be husband, Freddie, actually had something to do with the whole incident. But believe it or not, they did not. So about a year ago, I had to personally ask both of them for their forgiveness. The thing is, I actually cut off communication with both of them for almost an entire year because I thought they were in cahoots with Mr. David Angelo. As it turns out, they were not. So I had to ask for their forgiveness. Also, Miss Brianna Ramis. That happens to be my niece. All right. I love her to death. 
Now with her, the situation was a little different. I actually took money from her. It was part of her inheritance from my mother, her grandmother. Um, I had to come clean. I had to be open. I had to be honest. And believe it or not, upon asking for forgiveness for taking her portion of the inheritance, she forgave me. So that I was very happy for. But I got to tell you guys, while I was explaining myself to her, I was very, very nervous. Why? Because I didn't quite know how she re how she would react to such information. But it all turned out for the best. And last but not least, guys, I have had to practice self-forgiveness. That's right, guys. Self-forgiveness is definitely where it's at. Now, one of the ways in which I practice self-forgiveness is going back to that whole David Angelo situation. Yes, it was very easy for me to point the finger at him and to blame him for my injuries and my pain and my suffering. But at the same time, I also had to recognize that I, too, contributed to that situation. You see, that night, I decided to leave the, the club that we were at. Meanwhile, going against what my intuition was telling me. That's right. So when I practiced the act of self-forgiveness, Guys, I basically had to forgive myself for not listening to my intuition. You know what they say, when you don't listen to your intuition, you get a surprise. <laughs> That's right. And in my case, my surprise was <laughs> a crushed fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae. <laughs> All right. So if you can learn anything from me, ladies and gentlemen, please listen to your intuition. It, it will almost never, ever lead you astray. All right, so Coach D, we get it. You asked for forgiveness, you forgave, and you also practiced self-forgiveness. But how did it benefit you? We want to know. We want more details. All right, all right, all right, 23% Nation, I hear you calling. So I'm going to oblige, okay? Now, once again, I'm being perfectly and completely honest with you. Guys, it has definitely helped me improve my relationships. Now, here's the way that I look at relationships. I'll give you my personal definition. Guys, a relationship is simply the way in which two or more people think and behave towards one another. Now, when it comes to me, I view it as two different types of relationships. It's the relationship that you have with yourself, and then it's the relationships that you have with other people whether they're friends, co-workers, family members, it really doesn't matter. The relationship that I have with myself has vastly improved. Why? Because the act of forgiveness has allowed me to vibrate at a higher emotional frequency, which has basically resulted in me having a higher level of self-confidence, a higher level of self-trust, a higher level of self-belief, which has all resulted in having a higher level of self-love. <laughs> That's right, guys. I cannot explain to you just how beneficial practicing self-forgiveness is. It'll definitely, definitely help you improve the relationship with the person that you see in the mirror every single day of your life. It's also helped me improve the relationships that I have with other people. But to be a little more specific, what types of people? Well, I have to now talk about my students. Guys, I love my students. And I can tell that my relationship has definitely improved with them because now after class, I have lots and lots of students hanging out after class asking me all types of questions. So I honestly believe that by practicing all these acts of forgiveness, that it has not only allowed me to improve the relationship that I have with myself, but it's also helped me to improve the relationships that I have with other people, namely my students. Also, it's benefited me financially. You see, guys, I'm not going to sit here and say that, okay, because I forgave that 
it has automatically caused me to have more money in my savings account and also in my checking account. I'm not going to say that. This is more of an indirect effect. By practicing forgiveness, it has actually allowed me to have more thoughts about abundance and prosperity. You see, guys, what's important is that when you vibrate at a higher emotional frequency, meaning happiness, joy, excitement, bliss, then the universe sends you more ways to experience more happiness, more joy, more excitement, and more bliss. You see? So thoughts of abundance and thoughts of wealth automatically come to you. And when you can convert those thoughts into actions, that is what will directly impact your bank account. <laughs> okay? And last but not least, Practicing forgiveness has definitely improved my health. Now, guys, you know me, Coach D. I'm the one who had the heart attack, which was basically the one event which then sparked the whole concept of the 23% challenge. That being said, I've had my blood pressure reduced. My weight has definitely gone down. I would say I've lost close to 40 pounds. Now, of course, that's not the end all be all of the 23% challenge. But by reducing my body fat levels and weight overall, that in and of itself has helped me reduce my blood pressure. It's also helped me reduce my blood sugar levels. My hormone levels have also balanced out. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you are definitely looking at a new and improved Coach D. So guys, those are just some ways in which practicing forgiveness has helped benefit my life. It would take me an hour to go into detail about each and every way in which forgiveness has impacted my life positively. So just imagine this. If it can help Coach D, it definitely can help you. So please reconsider practicing forgiveness, asking for forgiveness, and never ever forget to always forgive yourself. Always remember, life is full of experiences not mistakes. So be sure to start learning your lessons from each and every experience that you have, whether it's positive or negative. Learn your lessons. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. As always, eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. And as always, I got to hit you up with our question of the day. So here it is, 23% Nation, get ready for this. Can you incorporate forgiveness into your lifestyle? That's it, <laughs> all right? Whether you can or cannot, state why, all right? Hopefully you can, and hopefully going through these 10 videos, you can somehow identify with one thing that I've said. Maybe you can identify with two things, maybe all 10 but at least try to incorporate in some way, shape, or form forgiveness into your lifestyle. So once again, can you incorporate forgiveness into your lifestyle? Whether you can or can't, please state why. Guys, that's all that Coach D has for you. I hope you have enjoyed this amazing video series as much as I have. Always remember this. Coach D loves you. God bless. And definitely stay tuned for the next amazing video series. Take care. God bless.